Long Beach, California. 464,000 people living in over 65 distinct and diverse neighborhoods in California's fifth largest city. A city recognized as the most ethnically diverse community in the United States. Running eight miles from the top of the town to downtown, the Atlantic Avenue corridor has historically been a series of separate and disconnected neighborhoods. The Connected Corridor project is about transformation. It really is a project that people matter. It's about empowering people and enhancing the resources of part of those resources being the people. So this project gives us opportunities to connect the people along the corridor and give us some new possibilities in our city. It's going to be the people that glues all of these bricks and mortar projects together. Well, while they're talking about trade, tourism, and technology up here, down here where the people are, they're worried about parking and potholes and paychecks, and they're worried about the peace. Well, we're starting with the peace. So the peace to us are the people. We are going to tap into what the people want and what the people have shared with us, their needs are and their assets. It takes a team of people to make anything work, and that's what we look at as we envision all of you out here. You're part of this team to connect these dots along the corridor. One of our partnerships is with the YMCA, the Fairfield YMCA. Victor Dominguez is an executive director there. I'm very excited to see this program happening from the very beginning of the stages of us meeting in town hall meetings and discussing what we really want through the Connected Corridor. This project really has taken us to the next step, in particular with Hamilton Junior High and the YMCA. We are connecting uh, with our, our programs together in a leadership and mentoring program called our Lunch Bunch program. And we needed more of a mentoring and leadership program, in particular with teams. And so we, we, this is our first week into the program, and we're excited for great results. In this case, what's nice is it's starting from the northernmost part of Long Beach and working its way down to the southernmost part of Long Beach to the ocean in connecting civic groups, church groups, uh, nonprofits, businesses, schools, and community groups in ways that, that they really haven't, they haven't uh, connected before. Other partners have been Mike Zeke. He is a teacher at Jordan High School in our ACE Academy, which is for architecture, construction, and engineering. It's an incredible program. Creating pathways for these kids to, uh, when they get out of high school, go into college. It's for, it's, our program is a college prep program. There's all kinds of connections being made because of people like Karina that are saying, hey, I talked to this person, and he go call them up, and I call them up, and something else happens. You know, it's just great. It's fantastic. Communication. I love it. <laughs> We all know we need to improve our quarters on Atlantic and Long Beach Boulevard to be able to connect this area more fully to the rest of the city. We need that economic development and we need the social development, which is part of this meeting tonight. Jordan High School is an amazing high school that we have in Long Beach. They have small learning communities from a medical program for students to the arts and theater to the ACE Academy. And it really is an amazing resource that we have in our city. And they have what's called the Jordan JPAC. It's the Jordan Parent Advisory Committee. And it's a group of people, uh, parents, hopefully, that want to get involved with their students and their school and be a voice and, and also uh, an instrument in their child's education. Now, this leadership group is very small and it needs to build. And for us, through the Connected Corridor, we have identified this as a resource that we could build on and that we could help build their asset and their capacity by our involvement. I'm excited that we're going to try to tie everybody in, make everybody realize that there's a lot of valuable treasures, a lot of valuable stuff along the last corridor that uh, everybody should know about. Just recently I heard from one of the stakeholders that they have to have the Connected Corridor. They have to have this kind of vehicle to communicate and an opportunity to take working together to the next level. We are going to have some real connections with individuals, uh, all stakeholders along the Connected Corridor. I think it's really important that we feel part of a larger community. No sooner were we there and sharing our mission and vision that they took ownership. They took responsibility to get the word out. For example, Dave San Jose, he runs 90800 Bikes Program. He is our biggest advocate in helping us get connected with our outreach efforts and sharing the possibilities of working together and uniting as a North Long Beach community in phase one. We were able to put a partnership together with the Arts Council for Long Beach. This week is Smithsonian Week and we're very excited to share a concert at Jordan High School. 
And at this event, we have scholars and musicians perform a wonderful concert. And again, it was something that the Connected Corridor did. We heard the people, we heard what they wanted, and we were able to put it together. It was wonderful. We're so pleased that it was part of Smithsonian Week and also part of the Atlantic Corridor Project. Some of the stakeholders for the Connected Corridor are faith-based organizations, our schools, our neighborhood associations, small businesses, job training groups, which includes youth. So there's some good possibilities happening with youth, and my theory is they're the second-class citizens of our city, so we really need to help and work with the second-class citizens because they will become the future. There's a new energy in the, in, on the Atlantic Corridor. People are excited, people have heard about what's going on and want to be part of it. It's absolutely contagious. We like to say that we're connecting the dots, but in some way I think the people have started connecting the dots for themselves, and that is the most important part of the Connected Corridor. We can now see that the blueprint for creating the energy and the connectivity in Phase 1 will not only be successful, but that the Connected Corridor project will gain momentum as it moves from the top of the town to downtown.